What is up, Broke Man Nation? My name is Adam, and this is Broke Man Finance. Remember, living below your means will allow you to live how you want to later. Live broke now, live rich later. We are here to try to help you make smart decisions with your money. Most of us out there don't have just tens of thousands of dollars laying around to invest in real estate. Real estate is very expensive, but we do have tens of, well, tens that we can invest into REITs. If you're watching this, then you probably already know what REITs are, but if you don't, it's all good. I did it at one point. We all gotta start somewhere. So let's take a moment very quickly and get everyone up to speed. REIT, R-E-I-T, stands for Real Estate Investment Trust. It is basically a collection of properties that earns an income. According to the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, to qualify as a REIT, a company must have the bulk of its assets and income connected to real estate investment and must distribute at least 90% of its taxable income to shareholders annually in the form of dividends. That's why when you look up REITs, a lot of them has, have these very tempting and meaty dividends, but you gotta remember they're actually taxed a little bit different, but we'll save that for another video. If any sector in 2020 took a beating, it was most certainly real estate. However, I like to be optimistic about the future and when there are big dips and bumps in the road for certain sectors, that only creates future opportunities. Meaning, if any sector stands to make some huge gains in 2021, it's real estate. In this video, I'm going to let you in on the REITs that I'm looking at. Some you may have heard of, some you may not have heard of, but I'm going to show you the ones I'm bullish on that I believe could make you and me, hopefully, a lot of money in 2021. I think these, I think these stocks, these REITs, are set to break out for next year. Plus, there's one that is gearing up right now as we speak for a spinoff. But first, let's start out with one of the most popular and recognizable REITs out there, and that is Realty Income, ticker symbol O. They have always been a popular REIT because of a strong portfolio, and they are a monthly dividend payer with an annual yield of 4.6. They have over 6,500 properties with more than 600 tenants. However, they have felt the wrath of Rony Rona because one of their biggest tenants is AMC Entertainment. Movies have been shut down for most of the year, and I'm not saying that AMC was responsible specifically for realty income's decline this year, but they are down 18% while the S&P 500 is up double digits. Here's the thing, they are still collecting rent on 93% of their tenants, and the majority of their properties have already reopened. The movie theaters are 5.5% of their revenue. And with 2021 around the corner, and hopefully this, this vaccine, that makes realty income even more attractive. Here you can see realty income is trading for around $60.39 at the time of this filming. So you are looking at an 18% discount right now for realty income as compared to their peers who are not collecting the same amount of rent. That 18% down is from being a victim of being in the sector from the pandemic where a lot of REITs and a lot of these properties were really affected but realty income has such a strong portfolio that they have not been affected quite nearly as much as some of their peers. And do me a favor before we move on, make sure to smash that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell notification so you know exactly when we drop videos. Next on the list and one of the most popular REITs out there because they had such a big fat dividend, and that is New Residential Investment, ticker symbol NRZ. Around one year ago, NRZ was trading for approximately 15 bucks per share with a dividend that gave investors 50 cents per share per quarter or a $2 dividend annually. Therefore, every share you bought, you were paid back in a little over seven years in dividends. Math. After a dividend cut, which they said early on was just a precaution and was not done out of necessity, it went to $0.05 cents a share, then $0.10 cents the next quarter, and are currently at $0.15 cents a share with a rumor of a special dividend payment to ensure they are SEC compliant. NRZ had been experiencing a 10% growth rate in capital gains for the past five years up until the Rony Rona came through and just started crushing people's faces. They dropped down to $3.33 and around 33 cents per share. Some people panic sold and because they felt like the mortgages and the rents were gonna, everybody was going on unemployment, so they felt like the housing market 
was going to crash like it did in 2011, but it wasn't the case. Some of us held strong and they just and actually bought more at such a low price and started averaging down that cost with the hopes that that dividend would one day come back to being 50 cents per share per quarter. Now NRZ is back up to around $9.48 per share at the time of this filming. And that's still a ways to go to get back to that $16 per share that they were experiencing around this time last year. But 2021 is looking very bright for them to get back up there. And as long as that share price is going back up, that dividend is going to continue to increase. But even bigger news for them as of recent is they just announced a spinoff. New Res is a mortgage lending and services company under New Residential Investment. An affiliate of the company has confidentially submitted a draft registration statement for an IPO with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC. At this point, we don't know how many shares you're going to receive per share of NRZ that you already currently own, nor do we know if New Res is going to offer a dividend or not. For those that remember, NRZ is actually just a spinoff from Newcastle Investment Corporation and was made to just focus on the residential side. All that being said, right now could be a very profitable time to get in on NRZ. You got the impending spinoff coming. You got this dividends, these dividends that are, are seeing big jumps each quarter and they are not going to be slowing down anytime soon. I could see them at a quarter to 35 cents very within the next few quarters. And you also have a pathway to see some more capital gains coming. Next on the list is a very interesting one to me and a lot of people don't even realize that they are actually a REIT. The company I'm talking about is American Tower Corporation, ticker symbol AMT. American Tower builds, owns, and operates the infrastructure and real estate that wireless communication networks need. That is the towers and the land they sit on making American Tower one of the largest global real estate investment trusts. American Tower has contracts with AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, etc. And they are going to be a major player for 5G coming up next year. They recently acquired Insight Wireless Group LLC and are now poised to take over Canada too. AMT is trading for $232.66 with a dividend yield of 1.86. The reason I like this company so much is because of the infrastructure that is already in place for the 5G boom that many believe will be coming in 2021. I actually made another video on that very thing regarding 5G stocks and AMT is in it as well. AMT is up 140% over the past five years and they are still growing. This could be another good one for a growth slash REIT that's going to be a major player in the 5G market. Last on the list is Getty Realty, ticker symbol GTY. Now Getty Realty is retail, but it's gas stations and convenience stores. It owns, leases, and provides financing to roughly 950 properties in 35 states and Washington DC under brands such as ExxonMobil, BP, and Valero. You would think at first glance, with all the oil stock issues and the lockdown, that a, a REIT like Getty Realty would have been crushed. Negative. In fact, people traveled more by car if they had to, and convenience stores became shopping trips to pick up the essentials with less exposure. Getty has a 99% occupancy rate, and the revenue is up 3.5%. That to me is pretty impressive considering. They are trading for $28.61 per share at the time of this filming and they boast over a 5% dividend yield. Not only did they not slow down this year, they actually acquired 27 more properties. Now people are always going to argue that we're going to become less reliant on fossil fuels and that gas stations are going to take a hit. That may be, that may be true. We are becoming less reliant. However, completely off of fossil fuels is a very long time away. We're still gonna need gas stations. We're gonna need somewhere to stop, to pick up our snacks, to pick up drinks, cigarettes, whatever you need. And by the time that actually happens, there's a good chance that gas stations may become EV charging stations as well, where you can get a high speed charge to your EV and keep on moving. That's all I have for today. As usual, I hope your stocks stay green. I hope you stay safe and we will see you next time.